Ah, you're back. Be sure to get ample rest before your next adventure. At first, I couldn't get used to how quiet it is here. There's no howling desert wind, or sound of bugs skittering in the rainforest. When you're trying to get sleep, it's so quiet and peaceful that you almost start wondering whether it's even real. Which makes it hard to relax. Yes, I just tell myself that I'm on a vacation, and that I shouldn't worry about what's going on anywhere else. Though, of course, before bed every night, I still reflect on my previous battles and review what I've learned. Don't worry. I feel much more relaxed now than I was at the Academia. The point of rest is to relieve the stress and fatigue you've built up. It doesn't mean completely changing who you are. I really like it here. It's a place where I can finally enjoy a moment of peace. I'll use this time to revitalize myself and prepare for the next time I need to administer judgment. Ah, you're back. Be sure to get ample rest before your next adventure. Sure, I'll even tell you a couple of jokes. Why did the Sumter Beast cross the road while burdened with heavy goods? <laughs> to get to Sumeru's most sumptuous Sumter Beast bodybuilding competition. Well, what do you think? Hmm. Here's another one. Which creature has the worst personal hygiene in all of Tevat? Cryo slimes. Why? Because they always bounce on top of the water and never go in for a bath. You don't find that funny at all? Okay. <clears throat> well, never mind. It's really hard for me to tell what jokes someone might find funny. It's because I always have this ultra-serious look on my face, and it stresses out the other mantra. One time, it hit me that I should try telling a couple of jokes, so I gave it my best shot, and the room fell completely silent, with everyone just staring at me. But then, after a few moments, someone started laughing and said, You call that a joke? Then everyone else started laughing. Even though they were all saying that my jokes weren't funny, I could tell that I had lightened the mood. So I thought, even if the jokes aren't funny, at least telling them can still help the others around me feel more at ease. Besides, if I tell lots of jokes, not all of them can be bad, surely. I just need to stick to it. And I know that one of them will land. Someday. Ah, you're back. Be sure to get ample rest. Sure. I'll even tell you a couple of jokes. Why did the Sumter Beast cross the road while burdened with heavy goods? <laughs> to get to Sumeru's most sumptuous Sumter Beast bodybuilding competition. Well, what do you think? Hmm. Here's another one. Which creature has the worst personal hygiene in all of Tevat? Cryo slimes. Why? Because they always bounce on top of the water and never go in for a bath. You don't find that funny at all? Okay. <clears throat> well, never mind. It's really hard for me to tell what jokes someone might find funny. It's because I always have this ultra-serious look on my face, and it stresses out the other mantra. One time, it hit me that I should try telling a couple of jokes, so I gave it my best shot, and the room fell completely silent, with everyone just staring at me. But then, after a few moments, someone started laughing and said, You call that a joke? Then everyone else started laughing. Even though they were all saying that my jokes weren't funny, I could tell that I had lightened the mood. So I thought, even if the jokes aren't funny, 
At least telling them can still help the others around me feel more at ease. Besides, if I tell lots of jokes, not all of them can be bad, surely. I just need to stick to it. And I know that one of them will land. Someday. Ah, you're back. Be sure to get ample rest. Now that I think about it, it's been all of five days since I last played a game of Genius Invocation TCG. No, not really. The longest I've ever gone without playing was 20 days. I was on a dangerous mission, and didn't have any time to sit down and play. By the time I got back, I realized that my deck was already out of the meta, and I kept losing game after game. <sighs> Eventually, I made some adjustments, and finally started turning things around. You have to keep playing if you want to maintain a good win rate. Otherwise, you'll be caught off guard by new and upcoming strategies. Yes. Is that strange? Hmm. You have a funny look on your face. The first time I played, I just saw it as a game to pass the time. As a mantra, your heart is like a bowstring. It cannot become too slack, but it cannot become too taut either. Otherwise, it could snap without warning at any time. So, once I started playing Genius Invocation TCG, I wanted to use it as a way to take my mind off of other things. You know, as a way to help me relax. But now, it is much more than just a game to me. In my previous work, I punished many criminals who had broken the rules and had to listen to their constant complaining. In most cases, I couldn't understand them, and they couldn't seem to understand me either. And it's not just criminals. Even with your friends, there are bound to be some topics where you are unable to understand one another. But genius invocation is different. I can always clearly discern what my opponent is thinking. Their hunger for victory. Their confidence in the deck. <laughs> their passion for the game. Many can hide their strategy. But few can conceal these emotions. Really? <laughs> Are you up for a game then? I never go easy on anyone. Just play your best. I'll help walk you through the game once we're finished. Ah, you're back. Be sure to get ample rest before. Now that I think about it, it's been all of five days since I last played a game of Genius Invocation TCG. No, not really. The longest I've ever gone without playing was 20 days. I was on a dangerous mission and didn't have any time to sit down and play. By the time I got back, I realized that my deck was already out of the meta, and I kept losing game after game. <sighs> Eventually, I made some adjustments, and finally started turning things around. You have to keep playing if you want to maintain a good win rate. Otherwise, you'll be caught off guard by new and upcoming strategies. Yes. Is that strange? Hmm. You have a funny look on your face. The first time I played, I just saw it as a game to pass the time. As a mantra, your heart is like a bowstring. It cannot become too slack, but it cannot become too taut either. Otherwise, it could snap without warning at any time. So? Once I started playing Genius Invocation TCG, I wanted to use it as a way to take my mind off of other things. You know, as a way to help me relax. But now, it is much more than just a game to me. In my previous work, I punished many criminals who had broken the rules and had to listen to their constant complaining. In most cases, I couldn't understand them, 
and they couldn't seem to understand me either. And it's not just criminals. Even with your friends, there are bound to be some topics where you are unable to understand one another. But genius invocation is different. I can always clearly discern what my opponent is thinking. Their hunger for victory. Their confidence in the deck. <laughs> their passion for the game. Many can hide their strategy. But few can conceal these emotions. Really? <laughs> Are you up for a game, then? I never go easy on anyone. Just play your best. I'll help walk you through the game once we're finished. Ah, be sure to get ample rep. Good morning. You look like you're ready and raring to go. Any plans today? If there's anything you need help with, just let me know. Ah, here, be sure to get ample rest. Sleep well. Everything else can wait until tomorrow. Just calm your mind and breathe steadily. You'll fall right asleep. I'll be sure to wake you up in the morning. Good night. <laughs> 